Hey, what up boys? How y'all doing? Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day or a great night. Today we're getting into the Ivory King Greatsword. Should be a lot of fun. I kind of just planned on getting the Claymore. So I'm thinking about just using that until I get the Ivory King Great Soul to trade it for the uh, Greatsword. So we'll just go as a warrior. Bonfire get it because we're going to be farming Rotten basically just to get enough souls to go to uh, Shrine of Winter and get to the DLC. So that's my plan for today. All right, get the Estus Shard and get it set get some extra souls, of course. We got it set. We'll use that of course to get some more souls at this point in time i've recorded the red rust sword and the uh, red iron twin blade but i haven't uploaded them yet so like as i'm playing this those have not been uploaded because i usually try to record two uh like playthroughs of builds before i upload one just to have the next one like ready and then like as i'm you know editing the next one i also have one of me playing another build so it's kind of weird like the timeline is a uh, timeline's a little bit weird all right anyways we are ready for dragon rider seven steps bro there we go. All right, beautiful. Get the uh, 14916. Fucking memorize that shit. I recommend using the Thief Sword because it has like a dagger move set, the one we just got on the way here. So it's easier to like stagger her and hit her, and you don't lose as much stamina. Look at that, beautiful. All right, get her a key, of course. And we're going to head over here to get a few uh, souls, a few items, pine resins, whatnot, arrows, some iron arrows. We can use that for like DLC segments. All right, and we'll get this chest with the fragment branch of yore. Nice. Okay, got some uh, tiny shards and large tiny shards. Hook me up, bro. Yeah, yeah, poison arrows, real one. And we got the fragment branch of yore, so we can go to the shade of runes right now. All right, so that's good. And then we'll get eight, eight. Mm. All right, we'll just get this for now, twenty and thirteen, to get the requirements for the claymore. And let's make our way over to shade of runes. Open this and play ring around the fucking rosy with these gremlins. Ring around the rosy, boys. Come on, let's go. All right, there we go. Let the door open. It's called get the hell out the way. And then get another soul for Pound Knight. I got plans for like doing PvP too in the future. I kind of want to try that out for a bit, for a couple of videos. Maybe with some fans as well, with some of you guys. That'd be a lot of fun. RTSR ring while I'm at it as well. There it is. Yeah, soul for Pound Knight. All right, and there it is, the Claymore. I mean, I was going to do like a whole video about it, but it, I was trying to save time by doing it together with the Ivory King Sword. I mean, this is a classic weapon though. As a Fucking beautiful swing, beautiful R2. It is a nice weapon. Let's go get the Chlorinthy ring plus one as well. All right, Chlorinthy ring plus one. There's the Sublime Bone Dust and the Soul of a Brave Warrior. Another one right there. We don't have a branch of yore to free this guy to get to the merchant, but we'll get one. We'll get it. We'll get one from the gutter. We'll come back and free him because we're gonna need the merchant to get the Ivory King Greatsword. I'll head up here as well. There's some Petrified Dragon Bones. We'll need those to reinforce the Ivory King Greatsword. Let's make sure this fucker doesn't break the thing. Oh. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty decent. There it is in the chunk to reinforce this. Another Soul of a Brave Warrior. One more. Beautiful. All right, there we go. Another shard. Another two shards and a chunk. We won't. We're not gonna do any infusions on the great sword, the ivory king great sword. Honestly, it's better without. I mean, I like doing infusions, but it's nice to not do one for once. Head up here. We'll get another sail soul for brit. What the fuck? <laughs> Game is glitching out today. Talk to my dude. Get the dark lurker quest ready, and we'll head back to Medulla. Get the cat ring. There we go. And I'm gonna head to the forest of the fallen giants first to get to the merchant, so I can get the key to free the blacksmith, so we can reinforce this quite a bit before we head to the gutter. I just had an idea, like it would be so cool if you can like to use like Dark Souls three weapons or Dark Souls one weapons and Dark Souls two, or like vice versa. All right, we'll buy this. We'll buy one of these. Uh, we'll buy all of these, and I, I have a bunch of souls. I'm just gonna pop them. Thirty thousand souls. Two of these. The rest of those. And we're gonna get fragment benches if you're on the way to gutter, so no need to purchase them. I gotta talk to her. Yeah, get the ring. My question for you guys is like, if you had one weapon to choose from either Dark Souls games to transfer to another Dark Souls game, which one would it be, you know? Like if you're a DS1 player, which weapon would you choose from that game to bring over to this game? I don't know how I didn't think of it from the beginning, but it's gotta be the Santir Spear. Especially Dark Souls 1. Oh my god. That'd be a shit ton of fun. We're actually gonna need repair powders, because the Ivory King Greatsword breaks really fast. So we're probably gonna get the uh, the Knuckle Ring plus two or whatever. And we'll get the quest line for the engraved gauntlets as usual and blow this up. And back to Majula. All right, so we got where? There we go. Plus two. Let's see the damage increase. All right. All right, we got plus four on it. Two fifty-six damage. Pretty good. Got the arrows as well. Can't forget about those. All right, let's make our way down here. Another sublime bone dust.
There we go, bonfire. All right, pick up a few items in this area as well. All right, and we can pick up another fragment branch of yore here. Some silky stones. There it is. Head around the corner, another titanite chunk. We'll use that to reinforce this. Another Estus Shard, another Soul. Twenty life gems, ring around the rosy. Knock these over, jump down. The fragment branch of your now we got two. And we'll go by the bright box before I forget about that, yeah. There we go. I'll get the Dragon Crest uh, shield right now, so I don't have to worry about it later. You know, a higher chance of farming items. Because I'm gonna have to farm the Petrified Dragon Bones too with the Ivory King Great Sword, so I might as well get it now. There we go. Nice. We get a Petrified Dragon Bone as well, and the shield. Beautiful. Alright, some human effigies. Uh, we'll come back with Oristeen later. Come on. Yes, thank you. Ring Force, there we go. Plus 9. We're at 341 damage, pretty good. We can level up with the rest. More damage. Course. Oh yeah, a lot more damage. Level 40, 12, 10. Alright, looks good. We'll get the uh, merchant ready. So we'll head over here. I'll free this guy up. Alright, the fan key. Free her up. I guess now we can just go continue through. We uh, can go kill Scorpion and Snashka with this. Might as well, because we're gonna need to get past her to get to the merchant anyway. So, alright, let's do it. Alrighty, pretty good damage. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I hate you so much. Alright, she's dead. Yeah, bitch. Easy enough. Extra souls, of course. Definitely need an infusion on this to make it do more damage. Alright, we gotta get past Congregation as well, of course. Come on, big boys. Yeah. Alright, just you. Nice. Nice combo. Pick up a Bonfire Skedic. We're gonna need that for sure. Jump down. Plunge attack this guy. Get another Petrified Dragon Bone. Estus Shard. Petrified Dragon Bone. 150. Yeah. Alright, that's good for now. Yeah, we can reinforce this to plus 10 with the time and slab that we got from the uh, congregation. Now we just gotta kill Rotten twice. Maybe that'll give us a million souls. I don't know if it will. I don't think it will, but. And I'll get the Forgotten Key while I'm at the DLC later on. Use a Dark Pine Resin for these guys because they're fucking weak to dark. Alright, pretty good. Oh. You're dead, bro. Nice. There we go. And then also, we'll pick up the chest, because there's a Petrified Dragon Bone in there. Now we got, what? We got five already. We just need ten more to reinforce the Ivory King Grey Sword. Down the Witching Well. Nice. Nice. Alright, get the DLC key, and the staff, and that's it. Let's get out. You know what? I'm going to need to kill Ivory King with this weapon, so I'll probably get the Leo Ring right now, actually. Just to make Ivory King a little bit easier, you know? Alright, here we go. Should be good. Oh, yeah, that's strong. Come on, bro. Show me your moves. Dance with me, homie. Dance with me. Where's Smo at? Fuck Smo. Fuck you and Smo. Yeah. Bro, you are stupid. Alright, easy enough. The old Leo ring. Mr. Rotten. Uh huh. Mmm. Mmm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Bro, do some simple attacks, will ya? Alright, fuck you. Nah, fuck you. Now we're at 314,000. Like I said, we need a million to get the Shrine of Winter. Go get the DLC uh, bonfire ready. We might need an extra bonfire aesthetic, which we can get from the DLC. We can get three of them from the DLC, or two, I believe. And yeah, we might as well get the Flynn's Ring as well. We're gonna use that to get some bonus damage on this to make uh, Ava and Ivory King a lot easier. Get our three Petrified Dragon Bones. Now we're at eight. Alright, we got our Flynn's Ring. So we're at 380 with the Flynn's Ring. We're at what is it? 430. All right, perfect. And repair powders right there. Get the dragon stone. Nice. Get the bonfire aesthetics right now. Might as well. There it is. Plus three petrified dragon bones. We're at 11. Just need four more. Let's go talk to this dude. 
Go buy the fucking ring of light protection. Let me go buy the dark weapon while I'm at it too. Probably use it for this. Yeah, nice. See? Ring of protection. We're chilling. Alright, pick our souls back up. Yeah, I'll get this soul of a great hero. Alright, insert the dragon stone in the pussy looking thing. We'll get the uh, bonfire aesthetics right now too. Gives us the two bonfire aesthetics that we might need. Alright, we got the bonfire. Over here, roll there. There's plus two bright bugs. Alright, get this ready. There we go, three more. Time for Ryan, new game plus now. Until we get a million souls. Pop the bonfire aesthetic. Alright, still good damage. Oh yeah, this weapon is quick too, I love it. Even the R1, R2, dude, this weapon is fucking nuts, man. Alright, what are we at now? 579? Okay, kill him a few more times. Alright, here we go, round two. Alright, we're good. Nice. Let's see what the souls popped. Let's see. Yeah, we gotta kill him one more time. Whatever, we got a lot of bonfire aesthetics. We're at 924,000. Just one more time, we should do it. All right, he's dead. A hundred, oh yeah, we're at a million and hundred thousand. We're perfect, we're, we have more than enough now. And we have a shit ton of souls to level up, we're looking good. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's do it, level 132. All right, Shrine of Winter, let's go. All right, make our way around here. Get the DLC key. Oh, and some uh, Petrified Dragon Bones too, I forgot. Yeah, there's one right there. Back to Shrine of Winter. And use the examination. Nah, bro, I'm going to the DLC, bro. You're too broke to go there. We're gonna have to kill Ivory before we kill Last Giant. It's crazy, bro. Bitch, tell me to go back one more time. See what happens. I'll fucking kill you. I swear to God. All right, let me kill this pussy first, and I'll kill your pussy after. Tch, I need not to dodge, bro. This thing is fast as fuck. Let me be honest with you. Where is you running to, giant tiger? Nah, bitch. You was free to go, bro. Alright, homie, you was free to go. Alright, one more. My oh, man. The last one. Here we got eight bright bugs. We're gonna use one, of course. And let's do it, boys. Hold on one second, broski. Bro, yo, can I get some assistance, please? Boys, I am so under-leveled for this, honestly. I'm gonna wait by here, so when the guy comes out, I'm gonna kill him. Just kill him, please. Fuck. Oh, he's dead. Alright, here we go. Come on. Come on, Ivory. I want your motherfucking weapon, bitch. Oh, my homie's almost dead, bro. What the hell? That's bullshit. Just keep hitting him. Fuck it. Keep hitting him, bro. Do not stop. Here we go. Oh, he's dead. Let's go. Yeah. Give me your soul. Give me your weapon. Give me your hoe, too, bro. She not yours no more. She mine at this point. Rivalry King comes out on top. That's what I'm talking about. How many, uh, I need two more Petrified Dragon Bones. Let me go get the rest right now. There it is. Ivory King Greatsword. Trade. So right now we're at 441. So it's 475, 503, 530, 556, 583. Pretty good. Bro, y'all don't want to fight? Holy, this thing is beautiful when it attacks. We don't need uh, the faith anymore. I don't, we can't even use dark weapon on it, so there's no point. We can't use uh, pine resins on it either. Uh, yeah, as you can see. So we're gonna go respec with our soul vessel. We're gonna need a lot of faith later on for sacred oath though, for 20 something or some shit, but that's okay, we'll get that later on. It's probably the stats for now. We'll get more later on, of course. I mean, yeah, it does a lot more damage than the claymore, of course. Yeah, it's 130 more damage. It's a lot more damage, so last giant, here we come. There we go, RTSR. Sucks we can't buff it up, but whatever. Here we go. Oh, baby. Three hits. Oh, man. 
I've been having a lot of fun lately, just three hitting the bosses. Holy. Oh, almost. Holy fuck, that R2 attack did so much damage. Where am I hitting? Can I hit him from this fire? Oh, it doesn't do as much damage. Just like a poke. And bam. Oh, baby. Look at our durability. It's almost broken after last giant and pursuer. That's the only problem. We're at 586, right? Yeah, like it literally brings it down. 492, 577, 570, 572. Even though we don't have the stats for it, but like it usually brings it up by a little bit, even without the stats. So we don't have the stats for like infusions right now, but I'll just show you what I mean. Five, this is 452, right? 452, look, 529, 525, 514, 518, even though we have like no faith and intelligence, but this, literally nothing, literally goes down, yeah. Yeah, I have this, so that's more damage. 20 more damage? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, on the way to Old Iron King, we can get the Wrinkle Place plus one. All right, let's head back to Majula and level up a little bit. For now, I'll just level up more into uh, Endurance. Endurance should be good, yeah. Yeah, so the Old Leo Ring only works on the R2. That attack right there, the Thrust Attack. So I might just replace the uh, Old Leo Ring with the Sorcerer Clutch Ring. Or I can just put the Sorcerer Clutch Ring in uh, to replace the Clorinthia Ring. If it was like every single attack, then it would definitely be worth it, but it's only the R2 attack that's a thrust attack. Hmm? Look, I do more damage. What the fuck? Are these guys uh, weak to... Okay, no, there we go. Bro, stay still. There we go. Yeah, I think there's a soft spot on this weapon. I'm not sure where it is. Like I said, it's my first time using this, so I'm not too familiar with the... Oh, it's about to break already. Yeah, this is what I mean. Using one of these every now and then wouldn't be too big of a deal. I don't mind doing that. Pretty good though. Has a really wide attack, so honestly, the perfect weapon for that boss fight. It might just be that boss fight because I'm hitting multiple enemies, which is causing the durability to go down faster. And this game is pretty generous in the placements of the bonfires, so like there's a lot of them scattered around the whole area, the whole game, so it shouldn't be that too big of a deal. I think it was just that one boss fight. RTS Army. No, RTS Army. Damn, why is this shit jiggling? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, hell yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, that R2 attack. And that shit is fucking nasty. I mean, it is Covetous Demon, but that was, that was three hits. Every bonfire you get, just rest at it. Yeah, this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, how easy it is when you lock on them. I don't know how I get them to on the ghost. Is this something from the DLC, maybe? Yeah, if you guys know what causes those ghosts in Shaded Ruins to, like, become, like, not ghost, let me know in the comments, because I have no idea how I do it. It just happens. Look at this fucking jump. Spectacular. Nope. Look at this shit. I'm floating. Oh, this guy ruined the moment. All right, let's just finish this shit quick. Two shot. I get the key. Come on. All right, now watch this R2 attack. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck their items. I don't even want their items. Here we go. Engraved gauntlets. All right, beautiful. Get some critical attacks going, you know? I can't wait to get Sunlight Blade. I mean, not Sunlight, but I can't wait to get Sacred Oath. That'll definitely boost my damage, too. Ooh. Yes! I mean, no! Holy! What was that damage? Bruh, that is busted. Alright, I'm gonna have to ignore these guys and my weapon's gonna break. Alright, and I'm gonna pop a bright bug. Hey, man. How you doing? Alright, let's see the damage with the bright bug. Hopefully, get some critical hits, too. Hmm. Okay. Things breaking fast. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh man. Oh baby. Yeah, that was some good damage near the end. And our weapon almost broke. No way you came all the way up here, bro. Hell no, nah, fuck this. All right, I'm gonna head back down, get the pursuer, get that ring of blaze plus one. Man, that's good. Oh, that R2 attack is stupid. 9-11. Nope. Oh, yeah. Let's see the damage increase. Uh, 20... 15 more damage? That's a good amount. Should we RTSR this? Nah, fuck it. We'll just bright bug it. Big guy. Oh, that was a fucking critical... Come on. 
Man. Oh, man. You almost got me. Something so satisfying about hitting the enemies with this weapon, I swear to god. First, go back to the Medulla level up, we'll get the uh, DLC key, and then we'll head to the DLC and get the uh, Sorcery Clutchering. I'll buy the Bite Bugs first, of course. Let's see what we can level up. Uh, this, four, three, we only need four slots, actually, because we're not using a weapon buff, so we just need 20, I believe, attunement, so that's good. Uh, yeah, we'll do that for now. All right, get the key and get out. I'm not even gonna deal with this fucker. All right, and let's go to the DLC. We're gonna have to get past a lot of areas to get to. Actually, no, it should be pretty quick. The uh, sorcery clutchering is right next to the uh, few night boss fight, so it is pretty down there. But I'm just gonna speed run this shit, honestly. There's a the bonfire. There we go. All right, we're down here already, just like that. And let's keep going. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore this dude. I'm just gonna ignore the Vader. You know what, I'm gonna fucking ring of life protection this shit, in case I die. Pick up this bad boy, pick it up and go. Oh yeah, you followed me. Motherfucker followed me. <laughs> I got the ring on, I'm good. Now we can put that bitch inside. There we go. Make our way down. Strength ring. Yeah, two more damage, not really worth it. Alright, the clutch ring is just up ahead. Come on, just get it and go. Come on. Come on. There it is. Alright, whatever, we got it. But yeah, so as you can see, plus 30 more damage. Fucking amazing. So we could just put this here, get 30 more damage, put the Leo ring right here, and get old damage rings. But the Leo ring only works on my R2. It doesn't work on that attack. It only works on this attack. For now, I'll stick with the quarantine ring because I don't have as much endurance. And I definitely want that recovery to be a little bit faster, you know? We just need Lost Sinner and Induce Dear Freya. Let's go take them on. You know what? Let's RTSR this. I mean, let's Bright Buck this shit for fun. I can always get more from the, in the Sanctum DLC, so... I just want to maximize my damage. This is going to be really interesting. Alright. Come on, big guys. Oh my god. That was a critical hit. Almost with one hit. It was almost a one shot. What the fuck? That is so much damage. Dude, if I R2 that instead, I think, was that an R1 attack? And that did 90, like 98% of his HP. If I R2 it, it would have been a one hit. I didn't think we'd get a critical hit though, that's why. Counter hit, R2. Woo! Bro, it's nasty. I'm liking this weapon so much to the point where I think it's my favorite one so far. I'm a fiend for damage, and this thing is giving me all the fucking damage. Oh, okay, two shot. Pretty no pretty normal. Alright, man, that shit was easy. There it is, Bright Bug. Let's just free up straight real quick. Bonfire Aesthetic. There we go. Here we go, Bright Bug. Oh, man. Ooh. Was that like a 40%? Bruh, that was way more this time. <laughs> oh my god. What is this damage, man? 
I never thought this weapon would be this strong. Alright, let's get these bright bugs. Amazing. Let me go kill Ron. Try it out on Ron real quick. What are we at? 652. Alright. I want a double R2. Or that. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. Can level up a little bit. 660. Okay. 660 as well. I can get 20 more damage. Alright, I just leveled up. I'm, I'm just gonna respec. I made a mistake. Yeah, HP, endurance. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good for now. Let's do that. I already have it equipped. There we go. Is that all the spiders? All right, I think so. Get that bright bug. Come on. There we go. All right, let's try it out. Mm, no way. It's got to be more than that. Yeah, all right, there we go. That's not bad. Not bad indeed. Okay. That's actually pretty strong. Nothing's gonna top me uh, half HPing her with one hit with the Demon Great Hammer. One R2 did a half of her HP. It was a critical hit. But that was just stupid. Honestly, this this boss fight's like a pain in the ass because of the hitbox. You hit like the side of her head and not directly her head and like bounces off. Your weapon like bounces off. So you gotta be pretty precise in your uh, in your attacks. Now it's just time for uh, Shrine of Winter. Oh, I need more souls. All right. All right, simple enough. And buy that, adaptability. We'll start getting some into attunement. So yeah, we'll start off like that. All right, that's quite nice. Oh yeah, that was way too quick. <laughs> Oh wow, that critical hit damage with this is insane. Pop the bright bug, let's do this. Oh, what? Ah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, much better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, wait a second, hold on, let me uh, R2 him while he's, yeah. Yeah, that's fucking good. Oh no, that was a critical, but I hit his shield. There he goes. Oh man, oh, that was a critical too. And plus three more bonfire aesthetics in case you want to use that. Pop the bright bug. We got plenty of these, honestly, so I'm not too worried. I need uh, I need leveling up in uh, faith as well for sacred oath. I forgot. It's not too much, it's like 25. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Some fucking stupid damage. Aw, oh, come on. Alright, there we go. Really makes bosses look like a joke. Yeah, I'll buy all of these and I'll buy like, I don't know, seven of these should be good enough. All right, tough guy. Let's see how this does against him. Okay. Wait a sec. One R2 him. Hmm? All right, is he gonna switch? Yeah, he's switching. Come on. Oh yeah, R1, R2, it's a pretty fast combination actually. I've been killing Velstat like super quick a lot lately. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. It's like normal at this point. There it is, it's uh, Sacred Oath. And we just need 25 attunement, or 25 uh, faith. So that's not as bad. Alright, that's one kill. Oh, baby. Do it again. Another one down. Again. Booyah. That's four souls for each. Back to Majula. I think I uh, forgot to buy the Bright Bucks, so yeah. After I killed Looking Glass Knight, they replenished. 25. For Sacred Oath, and then there's four slots. Yeah, 20. All right, and the rest can go into damage. Yeah, what's Sacred Oath? So we're at 660 right now. Uh, oh my god, Ooh, 710. Thought it was 30 more damage. That was 40. Wait, no, we were at 660. That's 50. Is it usually 50 more damage? Yeah, let's go to Guardian Dragon now. All right, and you know the drill. Sacred Oath first to stack it up with Bright Bug and then Bright Bug. Let's do it. All right, I can do better. Yeah, there we go. Oh, baby. <laughs> Man, that was, <laughs> that was good. 
That was a good fight. Beautiful RNG. Wait. Not nah, kill him. <laughs> nice. Sacred Oath. Oh, you don't. Alright, Bright Bug. Let's see this damage. I wonder if it's gonna do a lot of damage, because. Yeah. She's only uh, she's only resistant to, to dark, not magic. It's good to know. She's not as resistant to magic as she is with dark. Okay, what the fuck? Ah, double heal. Oh yeah. Oh, critical. Come on. Oh, the double hits. Wait, no. Oh, we're good. I always panic at the end. I just love when she transforms and then you just hit both of them and deal double the damage, basically. It's so satisfying. Alright, that's that. Is this gonna RTS army? They should RTS army. Hell yeah, alright. Sacred Oath. Bright Bug. RTSR. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh! What the fuck? God damn. Bruh. Heavy damage. I think I, I don't know if I hit both of his feet, which counts as two hits. Because that, that initial attack was insanely high. It's a nice crown you got. Mine's kind of better though, not gonna lie. Oh, he got mad. He didn't like what I said. Sorry, man. The truth hurts. Oh, bro, what's going on, bro? I'm just depleting his health bar. Oh. Oh. I should RTSR this. That was way too easy. Let's go do the rat fights. Fuck it, why not? I'm feeling the rat fights. This guy did a no death run, huh? No death run. Oh, that's your first death. But this should be a joke. I just want to do it for fun. I, re I never do it, so... Oh, here comes the big boy. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> Where's everyone going? Bingo? Uh, I'll give you the rat tail. Just because I pity you. I'm part of the rat covenant. Pleasure's all mine. I'll give you the tail, bro. I don't care. Take it. I'm never gonna use it. Does anybody know what you get if you give this guy, like, enough rat tails? I've never bothered to figure out, honestly. Let's go do the uh, big boy rat now. Why are you not moving? going on hello is my game glitched what the fuck is it because I'm part of the rat covenant no way you're telling me there's benefits to being in the rat covenant I can't believe it I'm sorry bro don't you're not supposed to attack me I'm part of the covenant bro come on I'm part of the covenant just like you oh, he, does, he doesn't give a shit all right man Always delaying the inevitable. Hmm. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Come on, do your uh, range attack. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. Oof. Fucking cursed. Oh, really, bro? Alright, I might as well hit you a couple times. Oof. Okay, let's try this out. Oof. Oof. Oh, perfect. Right next to me. Could have been any more generous. <laughs> yeah, this thing just fucking melted all of the base game bosses. Not a single boss I had difficulty with. Endurance. Endurance HP. Yeah. Let me pop a bonfire aesthetic. Alright, let's hope we can do this quickly. That's pretty good. Oh, you guys are in synchronization. Okay. Perfect. I'm just gonna finish him off. Nice. Holy fuck. No way. First try. I'm down with that. 
I am down with that. Wait a second. I'm dead. I'm good, I'm good, I'm... Woo! Critical too. Honestly, was not expecting the first try. That's crazy. And 15 more damage. You know, we could get the corn the ring plus two, which be which would be a cool change by killing Executioner's Chariot on New Game Plus. Fuck it, we'll do it for a change. I'm just tough guy. <laughs> All that armor for nothing. Nice. Good fight. Wait. Yeah, good fight. That's all the bosses in the base game. If I pop one here to respawn it. Oh, I have to walk all the way back. Oh, that's fucking weird. That's pretty much it. Nothing else that's new to it. A lot of tank here, that's for sure. Still an idiot, though. Yeah, nothing different. Nope, nothing different at all. Yeah, Chlorinthy Ring plus two. Wait, this one has more durability? What the fuck? It's a scam. It's plus two. Since we already did Ivory King, of course, to get this, we just gotta get Fume Knight and uh, Elena. And then we'll have officially done every single boss except for Horsefuck Valley, which I do not mind. And I do not count as a boss fight. Okay. Holy fam, chill out. It's not that serious. Oh! No, I got bonked. Stop dodging. There we go. Alright, come on. Yeah. Get staggered. Even the Havel got staggered. Bet you have no idea who the fuck I am. Yeah, that's right. They're burn aesthetic. We're not gonna fight them again. Pick those up. There we go. Plus two. Yeah, let's get out. So now we got six. We can use one for fumes or alone. Uh, Blue Spunter Demon, Elena, Slumbering Dragon, and that's pretty much all the bosses. But we got an extra one just in case. Represent the Rat Covenant. Let's go. Come on, show me the damage. Oh, wait, 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 wait a moment. Wait, what, 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 wait a second. It's pretty good. Where are you going? R2? Fuck you. I love how she just gives you like a good five seconds to attack in the beginning. Taking out like a quarter of her HP. Now, come on, give me some good RNG. Man, that's a chunk. That is a chunk. Bro, half his HP almost already. Come on, breathe fire. Oh, I love you. Oh, man. Bro, you're dead. Beautiful, dog. That's two out of three. I feel like naturally they would make the damage insane just because of the durability issue. Here we go. What am I doing? I'm one-handing it. Oh, whatever. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. Much better. Baby. Already? Okay. Okay, keep doing that attack. I don't care. Go ahead. My man, you was dead. It's still pretty effective against him. Let's do this. Ooh, okay. I am playing this sloppy. Very sloppy. It's okay. Ooh. ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Oh no. GG's, bro. What can I say? Few night just gets easier by the day. You just gotta get Sir alone, or it's and that's it. Let's get as much adaptability as possible before we go take on. Cause I want to have full uh, durability when I take on Sir alone, just just so I don't risk the weapon breaking. So we'll just buy all of these. Yeah. All right. Let's see how much damage we do. The Sacred Oath, the Bright Bug, RTSR. This should be pretty good. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's a lot. Wow.
Come on. Holy. Sacred Oath wore off. Oh man. And you're dead. Wait, no! I jinxed it. <laughs> Fuck, I might have fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm good. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> respect. I mean, I gotta respect the seppuku. You know, when I had Sacred Oath and the Bright Bucks stacked up, plus the RTSR, I was taking like 10% of his HP or like 15% each attack. And the roll attack is super quick, so I was able to punish him pretty easily. You know, while maintaining my stamina and still having enough time to dodge and stuff. Pretty efficient in the end. Yeah, but no, this thing was so much fun to use. I'm definitely going to do a, another playthrough with this again. Honestly, this thing is a lot of fun. Judging by the damage I did now, and just the overall satisfaction I got out of it, I'm definitely ranking it among my favorite ones. I and mean, the roll attack is just amazing. And then, that too right there. Oh, my thing's going to fucking break. This is the only problem right here. You just got to keep on fucking... Hooray! You know, theoretically, you can buy 99 of these. You just gotta farm Ryan for a bit, you know? And we got, like, plenty of bonfire aesthetics left over. And you can always farm bonfire aesthetics from, like, the, uh, the Dark Lurkers area. Those, uh, those phantoms have a high drop. They have a high chance of dropping them, you know? For me, I didn't have a problem, honestly. Yeah, the durability was kind of shit, but I had mentioned in the beginning that it wasn't gonna be that big of a problem because this game is pretty generous with the amount of bonfires they place in, you know, throughout the game. So, uh, you know, the dual smelter great swords. Yeah, I got that coming up next. The blue one and the red one. And then after that, I'm probably gonna take a break. I'm probably gonna start trying out Elden Ring. Yeah, and I'll do a video on like my first playthrough and stuff like that. Also, um, I just wanna, I had a question. I had a question for you guys. Um, uh, When I do start the Elden Ring videos, do you want me to cut them up in separate videos? Or do you want me to compile my first playthrough from start to end? all in one video yeah just let me know guys but if you guys want me to cut it up into different videos or if you if you would prefer it to be all in one video honestly just predicting how it's going to be i already know it's going to take a long time to beat the game probably a couple days so you know days worth of recording it's going to be hard to put it all in one video honestly i'll have to leave out a lot of content and i don't want to do that so right now i'm more lenient to doing uh you know separate videos of my playthrough in Elden ring yeah i know thank you guys uh Thank you guys for being patient with this uh, with this video, with this build. I know a lot of people wanted to see it, so I hope you're here watching it uh, to finally see it being done. I got a lot of good ideas coming for you guys, you know. I'm almost at 4,500 subscribers as of now uh, when I'm recording this, and that's just insane to me. Honestly, we were at, I was aiming for like a 1,000 not too long ago, <laughs> and now we're four times that, so... Uh, yeah, I'm forever grateful. I appreciate it. I'll keep on doing these as long as you guys are enjoying them. So I appreciate it, boys. Yeah, this has been the uh, Ivory Greatsword build. The rings, of course, for the majority of the run, we used the Corinthy ring, the Flynn's ring, the Ring of Blades plus two, and Swords vs. Clutch ring. We had the Engraved Gauntlets, of course. Yeah, these are the stats. Level 217. Overall, pretty good. I could have aimed for more damage if I leveled up Dex and Strength to like 60 or 70, and then Intelligence to like 40. But I would have had to farm like giant lord a shit ton of times honestly i didn't want to do that this weapon was pretty strong as it is uh, extra damage is honestly unnecessary but if you want to maximize you can farm for the extra souls to level it up 217 that's where i found my comfort zone to be honest but yeah that's it thanks for watching boys yeah and i'll see you guys in the next one eh all right take it easy boys